Have you ever wondered how rare is it for somebody to miss a flight or for a student to skip on an exam? People are lazy all the time. People can miss out on many deadlines. But when it comes to something really important like a or like an exam or as a flight, as I've mentioned, people tend to be very, very, very responsible. Responsibility is one word which is very deep rooted, which makes you behave in a particular manner, which could be completely opposite of your regular behavior. But that responsibility in itself is also a catalyst to make many things happen in your life. Now, when it comes to law of attraction, many people think that law of attraction is a very whimsical sort of a process. It's absolutely not whimsical. It's very systematic. And when it comes to the systematic thought process of law of attraction, while universe is going to do its role, while universe is going to play its part to make sure that everything that you desire comes true, all your manifestations come true, you also have a part to play. You also have to take some responsibility. You have to take responsibility of things which are in your control. But if you've never understood the whole concept of responsibility and law of attraction, there will always be some sort of a mismatch. What is, what is your responsibility? How do you take that responsibility in when you're trying to manifest? How do you create a connection with the subconscious so that when while you're taking responsibility, you're actually in a way assisting the universe to help you manifest whatever you desire? How are you actually making it easier for the universe to, to actually give you whatever you desire in a much more faster and a sophisticated manner? I'm going to talk to you about all of this in today's episode. So make sure that you stay connected, stay connected till the last point, because in the last point, I'll give you a consolidated way of how to make sure that all your responsibilities can get sorted with that one last point. But if you're new here, hello and welcome to another episode of Manifest with Paycheck to Profit, a weekly podcast that helps you understand concept of law of attraction from multiple perspectives and helps you manifest everything that you desire in a much more faster manner, especially, especially focusing on concepts of wealth and money, because money is the easiest way for you to gauge your manifestations coming true. When, uh, money is the easiest way for you to understand and see the difference in your life and actually see how law of attraction can work for you. This is episode 24. I am Manish Ahuja, your money mindset and financial literacy coach your host for the day and founder of Paycheck to Profit. Paycheck to Profit is a community helping millennials and Gen Zs build a new relationship with money, build a healthy relationship with money and abundance. So let's get started. I hope you are ready to get responsible and start manifesting. So let's get right to it. The first thing that you have to be responsible for, the first responsibility that you have to take to start manifesting wealth and money in your life is having the faith in system. It's your absolute responsibility to ensure that your thought process, your attitude, your behavior towards law of attraction is not whimsical. You have to be responsible to understand that it's a system, it works, you have to put your faith in it. And people say putting faith is the most difficult thing. But I will tell you, putting faith is also very, very, very easy to do when you understand that you don't have an option but to put your faith in the system. Understand this. When you're taking a train, when you're taking a flight, don't you put faith in the entire system of the airline or the railway management that they are going to take care of you and ensure that you reach your destination from point A to point B. These are also random strangers. These are not people that you know. It's just a system that has been created which is making you making it easier for you to have faith in the system. Law of attraction is a system which has been existing forever. It's the system of the universe. So you will have to put faith in the universe. And once you put the faith, once you take the responsibility of putting your faith in the universe, you will see that your manifestations will start coming through very, very, very quickly. The second thing that you have to do, you have to take responsibility of believing in whatever you're trying to manifest. Now look at it from this point of view, go back to the past, look at an incident when somebody pointed a finger at you and told you, you are not capable of achieving something. When they told you that you're not, it's absolutely not possible. You're not good enough for you to 
overcome a particular challenge in your life but that did not stop you you put your work you put your faith in the system you put all your confidence in the situation and you worked around that situation and you made that success come true in your life now this particular episode will possibly be consumed by millions of people in its lifetime and everybody would have thought of one particular incident in their life despite me not sharing any data or any particular incident in particular what am i trying to tell you is self belief is something which you need to learn to tap into when you are trying to manifest something let's say you are trying to manifest a house a car a new job a laptop a cell phone device a new scholarship all of these things will come to you only if you believe that you completely deserve to manifest that and have that particular manifestation in your life so you have to take responsibility of building the faith and building the belief that you are capable of achieving whatever you are trying to manifest your desires are not just desires they are also absolute strong possibilities and you absolutely deserve to have them in your life once you know that you have faith in the system and you have absolute belief that you deserve whatever you are trying to manifest the third and the most important responsibility that you have to take is that you have to let go and be patient now this may seem very difficult for people to manage but i use this example all the time in my community at paycheck to profit i tell people you know what when you were younger when you would ask your parent to get you something would you be restless all day for your parent to let's say you ask something from your mom or your dad you ask them to get you something for school let's say you ask them for a book they went out they went to the office and they told you yes i'll definitely get some uh, the book that you've asked for by the end of the day when i'm coming back home from office now would you stay restless would you keep thinking would you keep getting worried whether your parent will get you that book or not no you have complete let you let go of the entire situation for you the moment you asked your parent to get you something it was as good as given if the time was told to you that you will get this particular book by whenever they come back in the evening let's say 8 pm you knew at 8 pm you would get that book in your hand same is the case with universe universe is always by your side universe is always assisting your manifestations universe is always going to do everything in its capacity to make your manifestations come true so for you what you are supposed to do is you are supposed to put your energy towards your faith your belief and you are supposed to let go you are supposed to be patient and you are just supposed to wait for universe to make things come into your life now many a times i have heard people complain and say that you know what i have particularly asked for something and i am waiting for exactly that situation to come true let me be honest with you many a times you may not manifest exactly what you are hoping for but even when you start seeing signs of something adjacent something parallel something very similar to what you're trying to manifest that is also a sign that universe is doing everything in its capacity and sometimes very 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 few times you may face a situation where you may have to accept that the universe is giving you an alternative and not something that you were trying to manifest now this may seem very counterintuitive and this may seem very philosophical but be humble be grateful because at least in my example at least in my life i can tell you everything that i asked for but i did not manifest but i manifested something else an alternative it has always turned out to be much 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 better than my original desire universe is beautiful universe is abundant universe can make anything come true and yet if universe is offering you something alternative the universe always has a better plan for you however at the moment what i can offer you is something that you have not even been trying to uh, manifest but it's something that i would like to offer to you is membership in profit clan now what's a profit clan it's an online community where i send email newsletters updates about paycheck to profit updates about these episodes that come out every monday morning you get all of these updates delivered to you directly in your inbox in the show notes of this 
particular episode you will find the link to become a part of become a member of the profit clan please go to that link sign up and start getting emails from paycheck to profit and start becoming a part of the profit clan the clan is absolutely not complete without you so make sure that you sign up for the profit clan uh, membership you will also find links to become a part of the whatsapp uh, channel or telegram if you are active on any of those platforms please become a part of those platforms also to get more updates or just stay updated with paycheck to profit on the whole all these memberships are free all of these updates are absolutely free so be comfortable and try to become a part of as many updates and as many memberships as you want that's absolutely on you moving on the fourth thing the fourth responsibility that you absolutely have to take if you don't take responsibility for this i can guarantee none of your manifestations will come true which is you have to take responsibility of putting in the effort law of attraction is absolutely limited to manifestations coming true only when you put in the necessary effort i have said this example in the earlier episodes of manifest with paycheck to profit also even the best actor will have to go through auditions even the best actor will have to network with the right directors even uh, the best actor after having gotten signed for a particular project will have to give their best to a particular movie project act their best do the particular uh, do the necessary marketing and publicity for that movie for that movie to become a hit you do not get awards as the best actor without having put in all the necessary work so even if the best actor has to go through these uh, thought processes and these actions same as the case in your situation whatever you're trying to manifest a better job a better business opportunity uh moving into a different country for better possibilities just in case if that's what one of your desires is or just manifesting more wealth better customers everything will come true only when you put in the necessary effort and how do you do all of this as promised at the start i will give you the fifth the fifth point will make everything super easy possible smooth for you the fifth responsibility that you have to take is to visualize everything that you are trying to manifest visualization is a very 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 powerful exercise it will help you build the belief it will help you uh, understand and tighten your faith in the system it will also help you learn how to become patient it will also help you understand which direction do you need to put your efforts in visualization is the key to manifestation if you would like to know more about concept of belief because i believe is that is one of the most difficult concepts that i've spoken about in this particular episode go ahead and give me the word belief in the comments below in on whatever application that you are listening to this episode on if there is an option to leave a comment please just leave the word belief in the comments i will get a notification when i get enough number of notifications with just one word belief i will create more episodes to help you build your belief in the system how do you build a stronger belief in the system of law of attraction i hope you've gotten some value out of these five responsibilities let me very quickly consolidate it once more for you the idea is to take responsibility to build faith in the system of law of attraction to take responsibility to build belief that you can manifest and you deserve whatever you're manifesting to let go and be patient is the third thing that you have to be responsible for the fourth thing that you have to be responsible for is to take the necessary action and the fifth thing is to visualize whatever you're trying to visualize i would like to recommend an earlier episode the episode number 13 of this particular podcast which was visualize and learn to attract success and abundance if you're trying to understand how does the process of visualization work that episode was really amazing it was crisp it gave you a lot of ideas i le- i listened to that episode before posting this video or this posting this episode so make sure that you listen to that episode you'll find the link to that episode in the show notes below thank you so much for listening to this episode if you're still here make sure you take a screenshot of this episode share it on your social media do not forget to tag pay to pro and mr emojical which is my personal id and i will do my best to amplify your story on my social media platform so that when you post a story on your social media platform your network will get to know about this podcast and it, this podcast will reach multiple people and you will end up becoming the catalyst 
of somebody else's desires coming true through uh, law of attraction and i will be happy to amplify your voice to my social media following so please do that thank you so much do not forget to follow me on social media and follow paycheck to profit feel free to reach out us reach out to us on dm and ask us any questions that you may have with regards to money mindset law of attraction money blocks financial literacy and i'll be more than happy to answer them for you who knows the next episode could be the answer to the question that you've asked me on social media so please make sure you do that also please be generous and give a five star rating to this podcast on the podcast application where you are listening that will really really go a long way to help us thank you so much for being with us thank you for listening to the entire episode i am posting this episode on december 25 2023 so for everybody who's listening to this episode or watching this episode on the date of this video being uploaded this podcast being uploaded wish you a merry christmas and a fabulous new year towards the end of this the next episode is now going to come up on on in next year actually on the first day of the year i have planned a very special episode for the first episode of 2024 so make sure you're subscribed and now i'll see you next year next monday at 6 am ist until then keep going keep growing thank you so much